I've always been interested in the interaction between content and how it was presented. Just after the Gutenberg Press was invented, mountains of crap poured forth from it. Some classics have remained, but we've forgotten the acres of pornography and religious tracts and shock horror, penny dreadfuls that poured out from the Gutenberg Press. Technology influences what gets transferred, how it's received. I've always been interested in new things. I will try anything at least once. And I like to know what things are, are good for, and if I think they're good for writers, I will recommend them to other writers. Wattpad was started in about 2004 by two guys, Ivan and Alan. And they both were having the same idea about the same time, which is they wanted to be able to read on their phones. And out of that came Wattpad, the story sharing site, which now has about 40 million plus members. You can write on your phone, you can write on an iPad. The people who write on it will post installments of serial stories, usually genre, sometimes poetry, but quite often the zombie apocalypse. I did a two-hander with Naomi Alderman. I wrote the grandmother, she wrote the teenage girl. It begins with the teenage girl phoning the grandmother and saying, Grandma, the most awful thing has just happened. Mom ate Dad in the kitchen. The grandmother says, I never liked that woman. <laughs> we didn't plan it out ahead of time, and we tended to leave the other characters stuck in a place that the next writer would have to write them out of. Every episode ends with, as Charles Dickens always did, a cliffhanger, because we were writing it serially. And the platform does, to, to a certain extent, determine the shape of what you're writing. We wouldn't have had Sherlock Holmes in that form had serialization not been available like that. The way you can move content from here to there does influence what gets written and how it gets written. All sorts of things get tried when a form is first new. I think people have tried a lot of things on, online that, that didn't work out and have gone extinct already. You've already seen a Burgess Shales die off of internet life forms. And it's sifting down to what's this good for and who's going to prevail in the things that it is good for. Each one of the forms is good for something. Ebooks are way more searchable. Why do people still buy print? I think they buy print because it's neurologically a different reading experience. It's uh, more in depth, it's more tactile and people seem to be able to orient themselves in the text somewhat better. Storytelling is part of being human. You can't separate it from being a human being, whether you call it you know, professional storytelling or not. Everybody is telling a story of my life to themselves all the time. So how you tell a story, how many pieces you tell the story in, you tell it all at once, do you tell it in parts? All of these things are old. It's, it's just that we think of new ways to distribute them. I walk around in a state of wonder every day. <laughs> Everything's exciting.